Chris, how do you uh, how do you feel the game is set up there as we as we look into day four? And, and do you think those runs that you put on with Stuart were possibly the most important thing that happened today? Um, yeah, I think it's a it's a well poised Ashes Test match. I think it's been a great Test match so far. Um, you know, reasonably even. I think you know. Obviously, I think we're we're pretty happy having them thirty for three. Um, but at the same time, I think we probably just leaked a couple too many ton tonight, really. Um, but at the same time, I think you know if we can start well in the morning, um, you know, two two big wickets up front, you know, it could be quite crucial. All of a sudden, if you have them fifty, sixty for five, um, you know, it's a it's a big turning point. So um, obviously, tomorrow morning, as always, is important. But uh, you touched on that partnership with Stuart was you know sixty sixty runs or so. Um, it's quite a it could be quite a big big part of the game um you know and hopefully for us it, you know it's, it's a good thing but um you know pleased with the way we played and it's quite important we we put in a partnership there because it at that point probably wasn't looking like we were getting you know a lead of you know of a, a too big a lead um so really pleased with with how we went there how did you feel when uh, when you were told that jimmy wouldn't be able to join you on the on the field there in the, in the second innings and do you know if there's any prospects tomorrow um, I mean, I was obviously gutted for Jimmy. I suppose you know he's obviously dying to to play more than more than anyone, and probably wants to play more than anyone. But um, you know, obviously wasn't wasn't right. Um, you know, which is unfortunate for him and unfortunate for us as a team with you know him being the best well, well you know best fast bowler that's that's ever lived in my opinion. Um, you know, with the amount of wickets he's taken and all that, it's um, you know it's obviously a bit of a blow. But uh, at the same time, you know, us as a unit have to go out there and and try and do the job. But um, you know, moving forward, I actually don't know. I mean, the fact that he hasn't taken much part in the game so far obviously doesn't look too too promising. But I actually don't know. And are you uh, last one? Are you, are you are you sick of the sight of Steve Smith yet? <laughs> um, no, not not yet. Um, he's obviously a world class world class player, Steve. Um, you know, we've got to find a way to we'll find a way to get him out. I think um, you know on this on this surface in particular, it's hard to. To probably force the issue as a bowler to so much, so a lot of the pace has gone out of the the pitch. Um, so you almost have to, you know, build pressure and, and find ways to build pressure and maybe attack at the other end and and can, you know hold at the other um, and almost you know try and build pressure to make sure that the batsman makes a mistake. But you know, Steve doesn't make too many mistakes, so um, yeah, we've got to find a way. We'll obviously look at a few plans overnight and uh, and see what we can come up with. Um, Chris. Yeah, sorry. About Steve Smith again, like when you started to him in the first innings, you had a leg gully, like a wideish leg gully, who then went to leg slip. Do you think it kind of altered your length when you started? And then uh, what was just the thinking behind leg gully and then the leg slip? Um, well, the thoughts of that is that he hits the ball there quite a bit. Um, yeah, I suppose you know, he's, he's obviously very strong off his legs. Um, you know, we've, we've set a leg side field a few times and obviously had catches in and around the areas that you've, you've spoken about. Um, you know he's he's a good player at, at manipulating the field as well. So um, yeah, it's credit to him. But you know it didn't affect my length in any way. Um, I actually thought you know first thing is actually was was reasonably pleased with how I bowled at him. You know, obviously didn't get him out, but um, you know it didn't hurt me too much. Um, you know which is obviously important at the same time. If you're not getting a batsman out, you don't want him to score too many runs. So uh, yeah, that's the reason for having those men there. Um, with with the the kind of the, the short turnaround between from the World Cup to now, how much time have you had to kind of work on on, on plans for the Australian batsmen and 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 actually hone and drill those plans? Uh, well, we had a camp at St George's Park, which I think yeah everyone knew about, um, and we had two two days there, which we we went over a, you know quite a few things with the Australian players, um, you know like team analysis session, which you know every team in the world does. Um, so yeah, we've had enough time to to get some plans together, and you know some of these players we've played against for years, and a lot of players have played against them a lot. So um, you know you constantly have plans in your head already, and then you kind of just bring them to the table as a team uh, and discuss and and kind of kind of brainstorm, I suppose. Chris, over here. Um, Chris, how much more, I guess, in the game did you feel as as a bowling attack, bowling to everyone else, and also, I guess. Uh, obviously, Steve, a couple of years ago, found enough batting partners to, to stay with him for Australia to get big totals. 
is the way, or one of the ways you're looking to pressure him is to see wickets falling at the other end? Yeah, I suppose so. Um, you know, you, <coughs> we, obviously Steve's a very good player and we don't get me wrong, we're trying to get him out as well. But, um, you know, whenever you get a new player at the crease, you try and attack them as much as possible because that's when you're most vulnerable as a player when you first get to the crease. So, um, yeah, we obviously saw in the first innings, we obviously built a lot of pressure at the other end and, and put pressure on the other batters. Um, you know, we obviously try and do that again, but... At the same time, we'll certainly be looking to get Steve out if we can, um, you know, because we saw how destructive he was at the back end of the first innings. Um, you know, he may end up scoring probably over half the first innings runs. So, um, you know, it's important that we try to get him out as well.